When the movie was 100% finished, the lights came on, people started getting up from their seats. I walked down the aisle and I work at this movie theater and one of the co-workers of mine was getting ready to clean the theater and he said to me, so Jacob, how was it? And I, uh, I blurted out so the whole theater could hear me. That was complete dog shit. Morbius stars Jared Leto, Matt Smith, and apparently Michael Keaton, and it's about Michael Morbius tries to cure himself of a rare blood disease, but he individually infects himself with a form of vampire instead. Of course, beginning with my positives is one small little thing. I like the final look Morbius has when you see him in this movie. Even though the CGI did not look very good on his face, I do appreciate that the look of him looks exactly like the comic book that my dad actually has and he grew up reading with Spider-Man and Morbius so he thought this was Spider-Man versus Morbius movie. No, 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 no. This is a origin movie of Morbius who is a villain but of course this movie makes him a good guy and after that, that's all my positives. Um, This is a really, really bad movie and honestly... I'm gonna say disappointing because vampire movies are really cool and you're gonna bring in a concept of Morbius, a vampire superhero villain? That should be awesome. And I will say this, I will be a defendant. Jared Leto overall is a really good actor when he gets the right role and the right script. With this movie, he just felt like the hot guy, honestly. Like, Jared Leto is not horrible in this movie, but he just feels like he's reading off a bad script and he just wants to join the superhero universe, whatever this shit is. Because with this movie, it doesn't know what it wants to be because it's so dark and brooding. Then they try to throw in some jokes. They try to develop a character that never works out with Morbius. I'm telling you, the character development in this movie is nowhere to be seen. We try to get a flashback scene of him being very young and meeting his best friend in this movie who's played by Matt Smith as an older version. Well, there's not enough care development because every scene honestly feels like it's been edited or cut down to make a shorter runtime because this movie just feels like a complete wash down of a movie because all the trailers you've seen, I'm telling you, 70% of what you see in the trailers is not in this movie. And I promise you, you know the famous shot in the trailer where he's wearing like the prison suit and he's running through the streets and you see a Tobey Maguire murderer? Not in the movie. Oh yeah, Michael Keaton, you know how I said his name in the IMDb reading and he's been in the trailers? Yeah, technically he's not in the movie. There are other things about him in this movie that talk more spoilers, but in this movie, the feature film, he's not in the movie. And that is just depressing because I love Michael Keaton. And no spoilers, of course, but our main villain, which is, again, I'm not going to spoil it, is really no menace to this movie. I mean, like I said, I was bored out of my mind. The movie's an hour and like 44 minutes long. And I had a friend with me and he leaned over and he's like, how much longer is this movie? And I looked at my clock and I was like, w w where was this movie going? We had like a, we had like another 40 minutes of this movie. It felt so long for a movie that is being cut down to shit. I mean, for crying out loud, the vampire blood, all blood in this movie except for one scene where he writes the word blood on a window, everything in blood is black because they're trying to do PG-13 blood. There's one scene where a guy gets cut, you hear the gurgling of his blood and he's sitting there doing this and it looks like blood is supposed to be spurting. No, he's just doing this and he falls down. I almost started laughing. And I have no idea who the director of this movie is. I don't I didn't look him up or anything. I have no idea. But this was horrible. I'm sorry. This is awful blocking. I think the performances by everyone is so boring and vague. I mean, Matt Smith is having a totally different fun time in this movie. He's doing something just different. And I didn't care for it. I was like, it's not working, Matt. I'm sorry. I know what you're going for here with this character and what he's turning into. It's not working. Him and Jared Leto have no friendship connection. Apparently, they're, they're so good friends. There's no care development. The action scenes are so boring and blurry. And this final battle scene between Morbius and the main villain, 
is CGI filled and it's right in the middle and it's shaky as hell. And I, I had to look down. I had a headache looking at the action scenes, which is a horrible thing. There's a ton of shaky cam in this movie. And with this plot line just being no make, it makes no sense. The whole movie, I'm sitting there wondering certain things happen. Like he gets a science lab out of the blue. He's, he literally goes to these burglars and he just beats them up and then he takes the science lab. There you go. He builds a romance with this science lady, the doctor assistant. Um, there's no development whatsoever, and they just start kissing. You're like, okay, so what was this for? And then something happens. You're like, oh, that's why they kissed. That reason, to add connection to these characters. There's no development. There's nothing here. The plot line is boring. The action scenes are stupid. I was bored sitting here. I, I honestly, like, I'm, there's not a lot of good in this movie. And like I said, those trailers, half of what you see is not in this movie. Michael Keaton is not in the feature-length film. And then by the end of the movie, you get two mid-credit scenes. There's not an end credit scene. There's two mid-credit scenes right back from each other. It's literally scene, a little bit of credits, scene. And I sat there and I was like, wait, what? The mid-credit scenes make no sense. It's literally a plot hole. I'm like, so how did this happen? And why does this character have this item? And I sat there and I was like, what the fuck is Sony doing? I'm going to give Morbius an F. And something tells me there will be people out there that do find just enjoyment watching this movie of, of course, being a cool vampire. Again, Morbius as a villain is a really cool and different character for especially Spider-Man. So I actually would love to potentially see that set up. When this movie ended, I was like, so which one? And that's all I'm going to say about that. Anyway, guys, guys, enjoy this movie review and I will see you guys on the next one. Bye-bye, everyone.